At approximately 7.15 p.m. this evening, the Fort Wayne Police Department responded to 1020 North Coliseum, the Coliseum Inn, reference a battery that just occurred. Officers arrived on scene and located two victims, both suffering from apparent stab wounds. One victim was transported to a local hospital where he was pronounced deceased in surgery. The other victim was pronounced deceased at the scene. We have a third subject that we're going to call a person of interest at this time that was last seen walking away from the scene. He's a male Hispanic and at this point it's too early in, in the investigation to provide a better description. Uh, we've got detectives out processing the scene, talking to other occupants of the rooms, and we hope to gain uh, more information on what happened. We're trying to determine if that happened inside a room or in one of the common areas. So as I said, it's very early in the investigation. We're trying to piece together exactly what happened. But we currently do have two deceased stabbing victims. And just so that I have it on the record too, uh, how is the Dollar General? Um Initial reports indicate that this person of interest walked either by or into the Dollar General and he had blood on his clothes and they asked if he needed the police or there was some conversation and he continued and walked away. So that's why we don't know if this was a suspect, a victim, uh, that's why we're calling him a person of interest uh, so we can locate him and find out exactly what involvement he might have had. And right now you said three people involved? Is At least three. You know, we've got two deceased and then there was some type of altercation or disturbance prior to the stabbing, so we're not exactly sure. Uh, they're reviewing video right now that the hotel is able to provide, so until we review that and see exactly how many people were involved, what the altercation was, uh, we'll certainly know more as time goes on here.